here is news on the Air Community TV Center. I am Victoria Ayola. It was truly a celebration of exceeding grace for the President, Christian Association of Nigeria, Reverend Dr. Samson Olashiko Adini Yayokunle, as families, friends, colleagues, and well wishers gathered to celebrate their iconic leader at Orita Mefa Baptist Church, Tata Garden, Ibado. Caroline Halabi has a report. It was indeed a celebration of exceeding grace for the President. Christian Association of Nigeria, Reverend Dr. Samson Olashukbo Adeni Ayokule, as families, friends, colleagues, and well wishes gather to celebrate the iconic leader at Oritamefa Baptist Church, Ibado. The threefold celebration comprised of a 65th birthday celebration, retirement from the Nigeria Baptist Convention, and the launching of his ministry. Giving their fraternal greetings, the chairman of Khan, or your state chapter, Apostle J.S. Akiyemiju refer to the celebrant as a conscience of Christianity in Nigeria, a peacemaker, a generous man of God, a fearless patriot who knows and pursues understanding within the body of Christ. He prayed that God would bless him with excellent grace and anointing. This is the day that the Lord has made and blessed. The day of chapter celebration by our dear Father and the Lord, the conscience of Christianity in Nigeria. The peacemaker, <laughs> Reverend Dr. Samson Chukwuayokule, President, Christian Association of Nigeria. May the good Lord continue to bless you with excellent health, more grace, and more anointing. Amen. The Nigeria Baptist Convention President, Reverend Dr. Israel Akonji recounted the numerous achievements that God had used the celebrant for during his tenure as the president of the Nigeria Baptist Convention. Apart from serving dedicatedly, it is important to note that there were a lot of landmark events when he served us uh, as president of our convention. Uh, we had a lot of uh, institutional expansions in our uh, educational programs for the Nigerian Baptist Convention, and uh, we had a lot of uh, additional infrastructure for our various convention organizations. We had uh, an extremely wide ecumenical involvement in the days that we uh, came to serve as the president of the Nigerian Baptist Convention. Representing the Vice President Ministerial, Dikin Musa Ubanduma, Vice President Administration, called the celebrant an icon of fatherhood, integrity, and excellence. Thank you, sir, for being an icon of fatherhood. Thank you for being an icon of timekeeping. Thank you for being an icon of integrity. Thank you for being an icon of Christ-likeness. Thank you for being an icon of excellence. To God be the glory. In his sermon, President of the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria, Bishop Francis Walioki, taking the text from Agai 2 verse 9, welcomed the celebrant into a new beginning and a new ministry. He referred to him as a national pride and global icon who has served with impeccable integrity. He therefore appealed with him not to run solo by getting more people involved in praying and giving to his new ministry. He also appealed to the congregation to support Reverend Dr. Ayakule's ministry with their prayers, money, and materials. You're not just our national pride, you are a global icon. In the new ministry, don't run solo. You have never, you never did. But now, is it's time to move it high. Much more people pray. Much more people give. Much more people involved. Reverend Dr. Samson Olashupo Ayokule and his wife, Mrs. Deborah Ayokule, gave all the glory to God who had done all things perfectly in his time. He also thanked all the members of the various platforms that God had allowed him to serve in. Oh, the grace of all the platforms that the Lord gave to me to serve. I think I, I look back and I felt that if not because he 
myself did it and picked me and put me in all the places where I saw, by my strength, I will never, I can never be there. So I give glory back to God, who has done all things perfectly in this short time. The event was graced by dignitaries from all walks of life, can chairman from various states, the women wing of the Christian Association of Nigeria, principal officers of the Nigeria Baptist Convention, family, friends, colleagues, and well wishes of the celebrants. As part of his 65th birthday celebration, Reverend Dr. Samson Olashipa Adeni Yayokunle has launched his new ministry, Waymaker International Ministry, an interdenominational ministry established for the purpose of preaching the gospel of Christ across all platforms. Karuna Labi has more details. As part of celebration for his 65th birthday, Reverend Dr. Samson Olashipa Adeni Yayokunle officially launched his new ministry, Waymaker International Ministry and it's a denominational ministry established for the purpose of preaching the gospel of Christ across all platforms. Introducing the ministry, Bishop T.V. Adelaku of Victory International Church stated that the next phase of the life of Reverend Dr. Ayokule was connected to his new ministry. He made a call and encouraged everyone to join forces and be partners so as to help the ministry grow. It's an evangelistic, evangelistic global ministry. After the Lord Jesus, men and brethren, men of God, women of God, this is the time to minister sorcerers to the ministry of this man that has taken bullet for us. Prayers were made for the family and for the new ministry. What they did for Apostle Paul when he entered the second phase of his life and ministry, we are doing for you today. We stand here representing the body of Christ. Christ who you loved. The grace of God has brought you this far. The grace of God will take you to the end. Speaking to newsmen, Reverend Dr. Ayokuli expressed his joy at the birth of the new ministry and the plans of the ministry as it progresses. We are fulfilled by the grace of God because better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. One of the veritable ways of reaching out so many thousands and millions without moving an inch is the electronic media. So through the television ministry, which I've been doing before, and radio ministry, I feel that why I may not be able to run with the, that speed of a young man, I will be able to travel fast through this medium to reach many people, especially the unsaved, with the message of salvation from the Lord Jesus Christ. The President of the Nigerian Baptist Convention, Reverend Dr. Israel Akonji, the Christian Association of Nigeria and the members of the Baptist family has congratulated the President of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Reverend Dr. Samson Olashu Payokule, as he celebrated his 65th birthday, retirement, Thanksgiving service and launching of his ministry. Here is the report. It was an outpouring of accolades for the president of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Reverend Dr. Samson Olashupo Ayokule, as he celebrated his 65th birthday, retirement, Thanksgiving service and launching of his ministry. Speaking, President of the Nigeria Baptist Convention, Reverend Dr. Israel Akonji, congratulated the celebrants and wished him well as he moves on in the next phase of his life. I sincere doubt, a man that is diligent in his work, he will stand before kings, not before mere men. Wishes for him is that the glory of the latter house will surpass the former. As he goes ahead, that he will enter into God's greater glory and he will be even much more useful in the hand of the Almighty God. In separate interviews, Principal officers of the Nigeria Baptist Convention, the Christian Association of Nigeria, and members of the Baptist family celebrated the man of God and wished him well in his new ministry. Happy birthday, happy retirement, and happy new beginning of women's ministry. To Reverend Ayokule and his dear wife. Reverend Ayokule, candor when it comes to the issue of delivering the word of the Lord is very apt and so direct. Celebrate him today. And I celebrate his wife also, Mommy Toyin Ayokunle, for giving great support to Daddy Ayokunle. We rejoice with him today on this proper time occasion of the 65th.
Uh, birthday anniversary, his retirement, Thanksgiving service, and his launching into WIM, you know, Waymaker International Ministry. Daddy, we love you. Happy birthday. The Lord will renew your strength and keep you going from strength to strength. After a man has served the convention for these numbers of years and served at the top most level of leadership in our convention, there is nothing you can do than to celebrate a man like that. So it's wonderful celebrating him. We just wish him all the best in the remaining life that he will serve under God before he is called home. Pray that God that has put him in this position will never leave him alone. The new ministry will go from strength to strength and the Lord will be with him, the Lord will guide him, the Lord will direct him to pilot the affair of the new ministry according to God's way in Jesus Christ's name. We pray for a very successful period of time. We wish him long life in good health in prosperity and we pray that everything he lays his hand upon shall prosper he shall live in health to fulfill destiny to fulfill purpose the service ended with thanksgiving and presentation of gifts from families friends and well wishes caroline alabi reporting that concludes tonight on the half from nftv news center i am victoria Yola. good evening